Yo, what up, eh? How you doing, guys? My name is Serge, and today we're back with another pickup video. I know, man, it's been such a long time, two weeks to be precise, since I last uploaded. But as I've told you guys, I've been moving away. This is the new location, this is my new bedroom. I kept the rail as it is, and then the, um, the shelves had to be changed ever so slightly. As I said, it's been two weeks since I last uploaded, so I thought, what better way to come back than a pickup video? It's quite big, there's a fair few pieces. I did ask whether to separate it, or if you guys were happy to sit through a longer video, a lot of you, well the majority of you said a longer video, so here we are, we've got one piece of outerwear, some tops, some bottoms and some shoes. With that being said, let's crack on with it. Starting with item number one, we've got a piece of outerwear for the upcoming fall winter. One of my boys hooked it up and blessed this piece for an absolute steal, so I am ever so grateful and thankful to you. You know who you are. This is going to be a Parker. Now I know I've got my Acne Studios one, which is still right here. It's a beautiful piece, but sometimes it's just too thick for me to wear it, so I genuinely don't tend to wear it unless it's very cold. And so this is kind of like a nice, mid-weight addition to the wardrobe. Similar in cut, very long, Parker-like material. This is from Louis Vuitton, retailed at something disgusting like 2.8K, and then I got it for an absolute steal. So once again, massive, massive thank you. This is called the multi-pocket coat because it has, well, as the name suggests, loads of pockets. You've got two pockets here with the flaps and then two zip pockets at either side here, which in itself contains two more pockets on the inside. It's a madness. It'll keep you warm. It's got this sort of perforated fabric on the inside. I'm sure there's a word for it, but I can't quite recall what it is. I don't know whether it's the Gore-Tec or something along those lines. Waterproof on the outside which is again another reason why I copped it because my Acne Studios unfortunately isn't the best when it comes to rain. Beautiful, beautiful piece. I don't know if you'll be able to come across this exact piece. This one in particular was from Fall Winter 16, so it isn't current season. However, with that being said, I think a parka is something that everybody needs in their wardrobe and they come at various price points. In fact, I'm going to be doing an affordable alternatives on parkas, so stay tuned for that. Item number one, LV. That's so cringe. I don't have anything from Louis Vuitton, so this is my first thing. I had a card holder ages ago, but... Okay, moving on from the outerwear, we've got three tops, three jumpers to be precise. Knitwear number one, you guys would have seen this in the channel already. This is the JW Anderson half zip turtleneck from current season for winter 17. This was the all black offering that they had. Simple, clean. This was a size medium, so go true to size with these. This is the second season that he's doing it, as far as I'm aware. The first season ones are super tight. Like you have to go upper size because they were very, very slim fit pieces. Whereas this is definitely more of a looser sort of finish to it. You've got the black, almost iconic now to, to JW Anderson. Uh, zipper, pull, tab, head type thing. No cuffs, no elasticated waistbands, no nothing. So it sits beautifully on body. You can tuck it into your trousers, you can leave it out. It's such a, just a nice layering piece to either wear underneath a jacket or whatever, or chuck on top of a shirt or a t-shirt, and it looks sick. So, item number one from the tops. Moving on to item number two, let's stick with the knitwears. We've got this banger from Acne Studios. Once again, for winter 17, ribbed, super thick, keeps you hella, hella warm, and in this really beautiful, like, ivory cream color, I would say it's got a really high neck, not quite a turtleneck. I mean, you can fold it and make give it like a mock neck type feel to it. Mock neck type feel to it. A mock neck vibe. Bruv, I can't even speak today. A mock, this is what happens when you don't speak to the camera for ages, you just become rusty. A Raglan cut, Raglan cut sleeve, kind of elongated, really nice cut in the body. As you can see, kind of shorter at the front, longer in the back, but not in a very exaggerated manner. I think it retailed for 400 pounds or 395 to be precise, which is kind of steep, but as mentioned, for winter, these are sort of like investment pieces that hopefully you'd be able to get your wear out of throughout the whole of the winter and potentially through the upcoming four winters. Drake also wore it, if anybody cares about that. I think he got the grey version and he wore it in one of his music videos and has been seen wearing it a few times. And then item number four, the final top, this number right here. Undercover, beautiful, beautiful piece, man. I love the cut of it, cropped in the body, distressed 
in all the right places, elongated sleeve, very Vetmar-esque. I just love the way that the neck is cut because it's super wide. I really like wide necks and it just sits really nicely. You can either wear this with a t-shirt underneath, you can wear it on, on its own. If you do wear it on its own, then try to wear it with some high-waisted trousers because otherwise you will be flashing some belly. The print is something that I tried to research into but I just couldn't find much information to be completely honest with you. It's got a picture of a, well, a picture, a print of a brand brain with what seems to be like a mechanic like a motherboard basically and on the bottom it just says human control system and then this little guy right here basically i went to goya to get a wallet which i'll showcase in a later video and the woman was like oh that's a really nice jumper what does it what, what what does the painting signify and you feel like such an idiot when you can't answer such a simple question like why did you buy the jumper to be fair the reason why i bought I bought the jumper was primarily due to the cut and then the print was cool, but the cut was definitely what pulled me towards it. And so I couldn't explain this piece, but this is what well, this appears to be a tarot, 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 how do you pronounce that word? T-A-R-O-T card which is some of the things that they used back in medieval times when they were predicting the future or some bullshit like that foretelling i don't know man if you've been following my instagram you would have seen these trousers already if you haven't it's all in this corner right here s-a-n-g-i-e-v we've got three trousers for you guys trouser number one being these hyderachman for winter six trousers i believe they were called the orbe orbe black woolen and silk so buff like this so buff the fit is just on point elasticated waistband i went with a size small powder recommend if you're a 30 32 you can definitely fit a small i just wanted a clean pair of black trousers not slim but not super wide and boxy and this kind of fits that mold perfectly i've been wanting these for such like ever since i first came across them i've been wanting them they retail for a disgusting amount silk on both sides of the trousers in this golden color with some green piping the colorway is just insane man and then let me just take it off the hanger well you'll see it how it fits on body anyway but it's got this really nice pleated detail elasticated waistband two pockets in the back two pockets at either side and voila with my gucci loafers or any sort of low silhouette shoes up next balenciaga it has potential to be a high top piece but i feel like it's pushing the not pushing the boundary but i feel like it's too out there for people to go and cop which the inner hipster in me kind of enjoys the fact that not everyone's got them balenciaga trousers elasticated waistband in this beige colorway shower magnus so you've got a button fastening with a zip however on the inside you can see that it's all on a elasticated waistband so there's quite a bit of stretch to it and what it does is it creates some pleats even though they're not stitched in super super wide they were initially super super long i did leave them longer anyway i didn't crop them so that they're cropped i left them long so that they kind of sit on top of the shoe really nicely and obviously i can pull them up and wear them slightly higher on my waist and have a more cropped didn't taper them at all so i just shortened them i don't know what the exact length was for the shortening but if you're able to see what it looks like on body then you can take your trousers to the tailor and ask them to fit somewhat similar to this this material is just really nice it's, it's not chino-y it's a bit softer than that. In fact, let me see what, they're, what it's composed of because I really, really like 100% cotton. Oh, it feels so much nicer than just cotton. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's just placebo. Either way, man, I think they're such beautiful trousers and they fit really nice and they feel better than just cotton. And then last, but certainly not the least, when it comes to the trousers, we've got a pair of color trousers from four winter 17 oh, yeah the last two pieces were from current season so that is four winter 17 color is just a brand that i've been after for such a long time i was never able to get my hands on it just because it was either too pricey or when it did go on sale i was just too late for it and then i was finally able to cop it this one particular style comes in two colorways you've got this gray put it in a navy as well it's this neoprene like material woolen such a nice little finish and then on top it's got the satin here and then the other detail and then in here on this side for example you can see how the pocket sort of overlaps and goes into it and that's such a neat touch man i love it i love the way it fits it is more on the slim straight side it tapers down it fits just really nicely with some nice derby shoes like my Dries shoes for example i wore these trousers with my acne studio jumper in fact let me just show you the picture right here so you know what i'm talking about so that featured the acne studio jumper the color trousers 
and I think I was wearing the Dries Van Norton Derby shoes. But yeah, man, trousers, three trousers. I'm gonna be getting a lot of wear out of them throughout the fall, winter, and potentially spring, summer as well. So big thumbs up from me. Am I scented? Yes, I am now. And then the last item on this pickup video is a pair of shoes. Now, we're not gonna be talking about them too much because you've kind of already seen them. And that is these Balenciaga triple S's in the blue and red colorway. I did a video featuring the greys, I sold the greys, I was able to get these and then I'm still looking to get my hands on the white, the triple white. I reckon I'm going to end up keeping both of them. Two colourways, obviously the silhouette is the same, but this one is primarily grey I would say with some hints of blue and red which goes with one sort of color palette when it comes to st styling them and pairing them whilst the other the triple whites or all whites or whatever you call them they're a lot more on the tan and white end of things hence you might be able to wear them with a completely different set of trousers and whatever so boom i was able to get my hands on them if you haven't seen the video i'm, I'm not going to be reviewing them but if you if you want to see more of a review in depth or a discussion head over to my video that i did be sure to leave a card and i'll be and it'll be on this side sorry i'm looking at the monitor that is it for this pickup video man we've got one hour to wear three tops three trousers a pair of shoes accessory wise there's been a few accessories but i want to do a separate video in regards to it not it won't be a pickup video it's just it's a more themed video so it makes more sense for it to go there thank you ever so much for your continuous support and for your patience for waiting for the past two weeks for me to drop a video i am slowly going to get into it again so i think there's only one video this week and hopefully from next week onwards we'll be back to two videos regular schedule back on don't forget to follow me on my social media everything will be in this corner right here s-a-n-g-i-e-v that is my snaps twitter and instagram have a beautiful day take care peace